guys thank you so much for tuning back to urban tropical this is raj i'm so glad you are here and today we are going to talk about that cherry tree which is approximately five six meter tall and uh, why do we have a black fly on our fruit trees so my neighbors they bought cherry tree actually two years ago last year their cherry tree was infested with black fly and then they just came to my garden and i didn't have that many black flies i had actually very minimum and then they said to me how come you don't have a black fly and we do and then i shared what i do with them and this year they didn't have a black fly so he said to me why don't you make a video on it it will it will be so much useful so i'm just going to share simple things we can do to deter aphids and we can have free organic foods from our plants so the very first thing is to understand what aphids are and how we can make sure that we don't have the same problem next year so if you plan for the next year you are already cutting down all the processes in place that it makes your life easier for the following year so these aphids which i have on this tree this year either they would be eggs from the last year or a winged aphid have come to my garden from a neighboring garden and has produced a lot of young ones and i have got some not a lot a very little infestation so the number one thing is you can do every single late autumn or uh, winter you can always wash your trees so these aphids are going to lay eggs before they are going to die down end of the summer so that they can have their population always ongoing so the key thing is when you're going to wash your tree you're trying to kill all the eggs there and you can either buy a tree wash or I'm just going to link the description so I have used uh, the below which is really uh, apple cider vinegar water and very liquid so what it does is it really suffocates them and kill the eggs which means they will not turn into the young aphids and start to feast on my plant so that's the very first thing so remember to do this in autumn or winter or extremely early spring before the buds are opened so that's the number one thing you can do second thing Put the plants in which aphids absolutely hate so I'm just going to show you um, after I have spoken about the third method with the plants I have planted here which has really helped me a lot and the third thing is if you see black fly or the green aphids or the black ones or the brown ones and you see a, a little of them just try to eliminate them then and there so I use a uh, tissue paper and just put gloves on because um, I don't like to even though I can touch any kind of soil but not the aphids so I will put gloves on take the tissue and just to start to squash them I, or I will just take a leaf and just to start to squash them so what you are doing is stopping it producing because their production reproduction cycle is so fast so you, you, the more you kill the less problem you have to deal with so if there are a lot of steps you need to do the, another step you can do you can take a hose and make sure it's really high pressured one or you can have a pressured uh, kind of a pump and just pump water on them on the aphids and they will fall off and that's how you can make sure that they don't go back onto the leaf or you can make a spray which is just uh, with very liquid and water you can use neem oil if you want to and just to spray on the leaves you see aphids and they will literally suffocate and they will die and there we go so there are a lot of these methods but if you don't want to use any of these methods and you want to make sure you want to use a spray and it's not uh, harmful either then there are so many organic sprays you can buy which i will have a link in the descriptions i don't get any commission if you click on them it's for your own convenience so you don't have to click on them so that's the other method but please i wouldn't use a synthetic sprays because we are going to eat those cherries my children are going to eat those cherries and i, would, I just want to make sure they are fine i mean we don't think that much when we buy from outdoors but when you are in your garden and you are using something which can harm bees ladybirds and then you think i don't think i want to eat that fruit so i feel reluctant to eat something where i have used a spray if you want to use a spray the best time to use is before the buds have been opened because then you know your fruit has not been sprayed on which i will say that's the worst case scenario for you but i try not to use those sprays and then there is a synthetic spray as i mentioned that's the one i don't think is a good idea to use but if you have a severe case maybe you can it's really your decision i'm not going to say use it or not use it so there are a lot of 
controls you can buy from the shop there are a lot of controls through plants and then there are a lot of controls through uh, natural predators as well so in terms of natural predators i have got so many ladybirds on this tree and what i don't have is lace wing i have never seen one and the hoverfly actually i have seen hoverfly as well they feast on aphids so that is at least uh, there is uh, some nature in, in here so then I kind of feel relaxed and when I see aphids I think yeah I know you're gonna be eaten by ladybirds that means they are going to multiply more and I'm going to have a more friendly insects in my garden so there is another thing so there is a connection between ants and the aphids that must be broken ants go up to the tree you will see if you have aphids you will see ants colony just going up there so why they are there they are there for the honeydew honeydew is a waste product of aphids so they poop it it's really sugary and ants absolutely love them so ants go up there so i protect you you produce honeydew and i will save you from all these predators so if you can just buy um, tree wax and just put it around the trunk and if you don't have that, even in Vaseline works, you really need something super sticky, which will stop the ants from crawling. And uh, the whole, that, is, that is really the whole point. You don't even have to go out and buy something. So anything will do, which is sticky and it stops ant from climbing up. And I think Vaseline is the cheapest form you can use. So we, it's important to break that connection. And um, so we have spoken about breaking the life cycle. You must wash your trees. We have spoken about uh, ants and I'm just going to show you the plants I have planted to protect them from aphids. So aphids hate them. And I have got some black fly which I'm going to show you and I'm going to share what I'm going to do about that as well. Either you can go for plants which aphids hate or aphids love. So if they love them, they will come to them like a magnet and then you know they are leaving your plant alone. Or this one, I mean, looks like quite uh, jungly here. <laughs> this one is um, garlic. I put it uh, here in autumn and I put a lot of it so that the, because it's a really huge tree and I need to make sure that it's going to do its job. So I put a lot of it. You can use it in your stir fries and you can even harvest it once it's ready to be picked out. I did plant actually rosemary as well, which they don't like, but rosemary needs a lot of sun. It's shaded by the tree, so it's not doing well here. And I have also planted mint. Mint, the worry with the mint is it kind of takes over your garden. So I have to, you know, empty all this area every single time mint has taken over. It looks like a really weedy area here. So mint is the other cool thing. You can use it in your cooking. If you like to make mint chutney, there you go. And the last thing I use is, which is a uh, marigold. Marigold has a really strong scent. And I have got an apple tree here, which has zero aphids, neither green, nor black, nor brown. Absolutely aphids free. Because this um, actually, uh, marigold blossomed in early spring and i had approximately 50 flowers here now you can imagine the scent from 50 flowers aphids absolutely hate them the other super cool thing we have uh, actually in our garden is um, ladybirds which love to feast on them so if you end up using synthetic sprays not that you only uh, eliminate aphids you can also eliminate uh, friendly insects as well and I actually I can't find the image. If I did manage to find any ladybug, I'm just ladybird. I'm just going to put the picture of it. So I have got a lot of ladybirds on this tree because I have seen them, and they always munch on to on the aphids. So that's their feast, and it's kind of cool in the garden to have. So if I show you, I have got a small infestation around here, and just on the young tips so mostly it happens on to the young tips because they are so easy to uh, suck on and uh, then they get deformed and your tree is in a kind of stress so what i'm going to do is either i can hose it down or i can crush them but i'm going to just pick a ladder and i'm just going to snip off those ends and uh, literally dispose of these aphids so that they can not lay any more eggs and i cannot have this persistent problem and i will be washing this tree again when it comes to autumn or winter just to make sure if anyone has laid their eggs at least i have tried to do something to control it i really really hope that it was a useful video 
and uh, if it was please click like and at the same time if you have a better methods to control black fly please do share because at the end of the day this platform is really for everyone to share their information because no one knows everything and we all learn by uh, trial and error or from our mistakes and it is infected with the cankers as well and i'm trying to solve my cankers problem if you do have that cankers problem as well it will be so cool to hear your opinions on that thank you so much for watching guys this is raj bye bye